We're here today to talk about how palliative care and nephrology can better partner to care for seriously ill patients with kidney disease. And we do know that there are many palliative care teams that have felt that they don't really quite know how to build the bridge with nephrology. So Kate, can you say something about the success? Yeah, you know, I find that when you stop and actually talk with the nephrologists and really kind of get their perspective and value and their expertise and actually really require that and need that, um, it really goes a long way to build those relationships. Um, and, you know, little steps at first, and then as we go forward, then they're much more likely to ask for my help sooner for other patients. I think it's all about small successes. Mm -hmm. I think this is about relationship building, and so it's being able to um, celebrate just relationship and, you know, yeah, and capturing what, the wins. Yeah, exactly, and what we each have to bring, to offer, yeah. to work together, to help support patients, because really it is just about how do we work and support our patients. And I think it's also recognizing where are the things for the nephrology team that are so difficult. And that came up in the dialogue that the nephrology teams really don't like it when they have these patients right. who have sort of gone past the point when dialysis is helping their quality of life and they just don't know how to stop. And so the palliative care, is by setting it up ahead of time, palliative care can really help them with their problem and something that burdens them. And I think one of the things we wanted to highlight in this session is that there's so much uncertainty. So we have these prognostic tools and you can punch in the numbers, but that doesn't necessarily resonate into how that patient's gonna do. So we have to embrace the uncertainty. So we wanna take you into our exploration of how palliative care and nephrology can collaborate. And we're gonna take a peek into a typical interaction on a hospital hallway Kate here has been asked by the team to do a consultation with Mrs. P, a palliative care consultation with Mrs. P. She's in the ICU and she runs into the hallway and there is her colleague, the nephrologist, Jane. Hi, Jane. I was wondering if you had a minute to just talk about one of your patients. Hmm. Yeah, sure. The medicine team asked us to see Ms. P to help talk about treatment decisions for her kidney disease. Hmm. I'm surprised they called you. Yeah, you know, I was looking through her chart carefully, and I see that you follow her regularly, and you've seen her for a while now, several years, and that's why I wanted to connect with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering, what kind of conversations have you had with her? Well, you know, her kidney function's been really stable, so we haven't talked too much about dialysis. Just that one day, she may need it. Okay, well, that's helpful. You know, it sounds like the medical team is worried that there's more urgency now, and I'm just wondering, how do you think she would do on dialysis? Well, I think dialysis will give her more time. Hmm, okay. Well, you know, thinking about her heart disease and her lung disease, um, do you, would you be surprised if she would die in the next year? Well, no, actually, I wouldn't be surprised. But you know, I've been wrong before. I had this 90-year-old patient that I thought, no way was that patient going to do well, and we just celebrated her 92nd birthday. You can't predict this stuff. That is true. Uncertainty is definitely there and it's difficult. But, you know, I'm wondering with Ms. P, how do you think she would do on dialysis? But with her quality of life and her functional status in particular? Well, it's true. She already has a walker, so I'm sure that she'll probably become more dependent, maybe have to be in a care home. Okay. So even though it may give her more time, it may also come with more burdens. Okay. okay. Well, it seems like you mostly have been talking about the possibility of needing dialysis. Um, did you ever talk to her about the option for conservative care without dialysis? Well, all of our patients go through education, so she knows that she doesn't have to do dialysis and she could choose no treatment. Okay, okay. Well, you know, if she were to opt for conservative care without dialysis, what would you estimate her prognosis to be then? Um, I think probably six months or so if I medically manage her with diuretics. Okay, okay. Well, you know, that's very helpful. You know, the first step is I'm going to meet with her and understand what's important to her. But, you know, it sounds like with all this uncertainty, there might be an opportunity to consider a time-limited trial of dialysis. Time-limited trial? So a time-limited trial will give us the opportunity to see how she does on dialysis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after a certain amount of time, a month or two months, then we have this structure built in to meet up with her again and see if dialysis is helping her to meet her goals or, you know, if she's having more bumps in the road and having more setbacks. It would allow us a chance to talk about that. Yeah, well actually that would be pretty helpful. I mean, with these patients, their cognition really goes and I find that 
I often, they can't tell me when to stop dialysis and it's usually when they come to the hospital very sick that we have to have these difficult conversations with families. Yeah, That's pretty helpful. Well, good, good, I'm glad. I'm glad I can help you, but also it does will help me help her as well. Yeah, you know, I'm really surprised. I thought you guys just did death and dying. Thanks. We hope that you, in this somewhat stereotypical example, actually recognized how palliative care skills that you're so familiar with for your patients and families can help you align and team with your nephrology colleague. So we hope if this interests you and you're trying to also build bridges with your, with your nephrology colleagues that you'll join the Kidney Forum and watch our session which has a lot of detail about the learning objectives and will help you. And look forward to next year. Yeah. Go, Go Kidney Palliative Care. <laughs>